today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we are going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. What is the biblical understanding of faith versus works? Faith versus works. The faith versus works debate often comes up in discussions of salvation. And there are many who say that a person is saved based on some mixture of faith and works. Biblical Christianity teaches salvation by faith in Christ Jesus apart from any works that we do. Perhaps the best place to start is to clearly define faith and works. Now what is faith? What is faith? Hebrews 1.1 tells us, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hmm. The confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we don't see. And faith is that that thing which assures us that our hope is reality even though we cannot see it. If we have faith, we are convinced that we are believing in, you know, our belief is real true and reliable and the biblical object of faith is the person and work of Jesus Christ true faith has always been the identifying mark of the people of God but now what are works work is a person's actions or deeds work is that which we perform for some kind of reward We work at our jobs and expect to receive a paycheck for it. Even working on a voluntary basis, it has its own rewards. We get praise from others as a feeling of goodwill. In the context of salvation, works refers to good deeds that we do, especially religious or charitable acts or the observance of the Old Testament law. And in the faith versus works debate, the two sides maintain that either we are saved by faith, and of course faith alone, or we are saved by works, or more commonly, works added to faith. Which side is correct? What is the biblical relationship between faith and works? Now, we have to understand a couple of things. Number one, works are required for salvation. Yes. But scripture is clear that those works are Christ's works, not our works. Jesus fulfilled the law, Matthew 5, 17. The Bible says, Think thought, uh, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So Jesus fulfilled. In fact, the law was our guardian until Christ came so that we can be justified by faith. Galatians 3.24 It tells us Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. And Jesus' sacrifice on the cross reconciled us to God. Romans 5.10 For if when we were still enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life. And as he died Jesus proclaimed that the work was finished. John 19 verse 30 When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar He said it is finished And he bowed his head And gave up the ghost Now we are invited to enter Into God rests by faith The Bible says In uh, Hebrews 4.10 For he that is entered into his rest He also has ceased from his own works As God did from his So now, we see the work is Jesus's, and he already did the work, and it's over. A second point, our works do nothing to earn or maintain salvation. 
because it was once for all sacrifice of Christ that justified sinners. Romans 3.24 It tells us being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You did nothing, my friends. Nothing, not even one thing. It was free. And the Bible continues and tells us in Galatians 2.16 Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. We begin by faith and we continue in faith. Paul himself, he warned people and the, the church of Galatia, he told them, think about this, he said, this only I would learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, you are now made perfect in the flesh? So you start in the Spirit and you end in the Spirit. You don't start justifying yourself by the works of the law. And number three, salvation is by grace which pre, uh, precludes works. You understand that grace is by definition and land and scripture makes it clear that God's grace in salvation destroys the argument for human effort. Romans 11.6 It tells us, And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. So it is grace that you have saved Ephesians 2 8 9. It is by grace that you have been saved through faith. This is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. You see the point here. And number four, I think it's number four. God's requirement for his salvation is faith in his son. What God requires is just you to have faith in his son. One of the grand themes of the Bible is that we are justified or declared righteous by faith. Genesis 15 verse 6, remember this? About Abraham, and he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Faith is the only means of making a sinful man to be able to stand before a holy God. No amount of law keeping or good works can accomplish this Titus 3.5 tells us, Not by works of righteousness which you have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. And if our works could save us, then Christ died for nothing. Galatians 2.21 I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness came by the law, then Christ is dead, is dead in vain. Number 5 Works are the products of faith. We know that those who have true faith in Jesus Christ will be eager to do what is good. Titus 2.14 Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto him a peculiar people, zealous of what? Good works. Good works are a result of a true faith. And think about John the Baptist. He called it a fruit keeping with repentance. In Matthew 3 8, he called it a fruit keeping with repentance. And the book of James emphasizes the nature of true saving faith as that which results in good works. It says, Faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. Faith without action is dead. James 2.17 and you can read James 2.26 it tells us about this friends grace through faith saves and that faith is manifest in his works if someone claims to have faith yet exhibits no good works his or her faith is dead or non-existent in conclusion the faith versus work debate is uh, really not even a debate at all both faith and works are integral parts of the Christian life. Biblically, faith is the cause of salvation, while works are the evidence of salvation. 
And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. Remember, you can always uh, download this podcast to listen later offline or uh, to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel, Keith Mwoki, so that you can always be notified whenever we post another Bible study question. And if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step order of salvation, that is how to get saved, so that you can probably well preach to a friend or family using, you know, having the clear Bible verses. Or maybe you feel led to support our ministry, please visit our website, Keith muoki.com otherwise i hope to see you in the next one